at this point, you should already have R installed on your computer. So make sure you have R. You don't need it open, but just make sure you have it installed on your computer. With that, you can now download R Studio. And R Studio is what it says it is. It's a studio for working inside of R. So go ahead and Google download R Studio and click the first top link. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page right here, and we see the two primary installers that most people will use, the Windows, most people have Windows, or most people have a Mac. Download the file that is associated with the operating system you have. If you have Ubuntu, if you have Fedora, if you have any of the other ones down here, make sure to get those, and you'll have the proper R Studio for your operating system. With that, we can now run the installer and open up R Studio. And what you'll notice here is here's the section where you put your code. Here is where you run your code down here. This is where all the code has been run. Here is the global environment and kind of local environments of R. And here's your graphing window with many other options. It's much easier to look at than just the simple thing that R gives you. R Studio's got a lot more options and makes coding easier.